Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI Tester Certification. We are in chapter 8 getting started with it and we'll be looking forward to talk about this chapter where we'll be understanding testing AI specific quality characteristics that what are those non-functional attributes which do talk about specifically on AI based system and there are a lot of topics which we will be covering here which certainly talks about everything on testing perspective when it comes to the AI based system. So far we were just introducing you to what is AI and ML models but this chapter will drive you through everything else. Well that's a long list but quickly uh, we'll be talking about challenges in testing a self-learning system, testing an autonomous AI based system or testing for algorithmic sample and inappropriate biases, testing prob probabilistic and non-deterministic AI based systems, challenges in uh, complex AI based system testing, testing the transparency, interpretability and explainability, test oracles for the AI based system and what are the objectives and acceptance criteria. In fact you have a lot of information so today quickly we are getting started with 8.1 in general when it comes to the self learning system what are the challenges we face in testing it. Well, to get started, the very first topic, we're talking about the challenges in testing specifically the self-learning system. That means we are talking about the systems which are capable enough to adapt to the transformation in the data over a period of time and take their own learning steps and make decisions appropriately. But of course, there are challenges related to it when a tester talks about such things and what exactly does contribute to that. So number one challenge which we see, of course, there are several potential challenges which we should look forward to overcome when testing a self-learning system. And the very one, very first one here is unexpected change. Right. The original requirement and constraints within which the system should work generally known, but there may be a little or no information available on the changes made by the system itself. It is normally possible to test against the original requirement and design, but if the system has devised an innovative implementation or gamed a solution, it may be difficult to design test for uh, tests which are appropriate for this implementation, which is upfront telling you that uh, you know uh, there are things which the AI based system becomes capable of understanding and adapting and defining itself when we talk about the self learning system. And it's not an easy job to upfront go and create a test for such things because you do not have any kind of visibility, you do not have any kind of prediction that what kind of decision or what kind of implementation the AI based system would do when the data changes. And what would be the change of course? That's the very first question, right? If you know the changes, you can talk about a bit on that. But if you don't even have a clue about what changes are going to take place and what the system will do in such scenarios, you are completely lost in some way to say that how can a tester really, really talk about preparing a test on this? So in this context, of course, uh, it becomes very important for the tester. In addition, when systems change themselves, the results of previously passing tests can also change. This is a test design challenge too. Now it may be addressed by designing appropriate tests that remain relevant as the system changes its behavior. So preventing a potential regression testing problem. However, it may also require new tests to be designed based on observed new system behaviors. I think the first part to a certain extent is actually contradicting, saying that how can we appropriately create a test to address uh, the system changes and behavior? Because one side you are telling me that changes are unpredictable. and But point being made is, hey, if you get to know the changes, do include those tests into your regression test suite altogether this is what we're trying to say because over a period of time you're also keeping a track you are keeping an eye monitoring on the system then certainly you know what changes have taken place and you are trying to test the ai based system according to that change right and that can be done <laughs> anyways the next one here is talking about the complex acceptance criteria of course the acceptance criteria are not that straightforward we do have a lot of challenges related to it. It may be necessary to define expectations for the improvement by the system when it self learns. For example, it may be assumed that if the system changes itself, its overall functional performance should also improve. Additionally, specifying anything or other than simple improvement can quickly become complex. 
For example, a minimum improvement might be expected uh, rather than just simply any improvement or the required improvement may be linked to the environment factors like minimum 10% improvement in functionality X is required if the environmental factor F changes by more than Y. So just kind of like relatively creating a proportional amount of information that says that if the you know functionality gets improved, then it should also add value proportionally to the non-functional characteristics. And at the same time, it may not be you know having any kind of uh, foresee you know challenges which gets developed because you do understand that when you try making a change or update to an existing live application, it may have both the side uh, both sided effects. Like it can be positive for the system to improve, or it could be negative also sometime to decrease the performance parameters. So all we are trying to say here is that uh, we should understand what exactly are the factors being uh, improved and that improvement is having any kind of side effects or adverse effect on the existing. So these problems may be addressed through the specification and testing against the more complex acceptance criteria and by maintaining a continuous record of the current system baseline functional performance. Well, talking about the next set of items, we do have a few more uh, where the next one is insufficient testing time. I think this is a very common <laughs> challenge which we do face in our other types of systems too. So how, why not AI based system, right? So of course, testing time is one of the key challenge which is everywhere and thus come to the self-learning system too. So it may be necessary to know how quickly the system is expected to learn and adapt given different scenarios. These acceptance criteria may be difficult to specify and acquire. If a system adapts quickly, there might be insufficient time to manually execute new tests after each change. So it may be necessary to write tests that can be run automatically when the system changes itself. Now these challenges can be addressed through the specification of appropriate acceptance criteria and automated continuous testing and the acceptance criteria is being discussed in this chapter itself in the last 8.8 .8. so just hold on for that so put together of course uh, having the acceptance criteria being defined more strongly and the you know definitions according to the need and expectation would be really important otherwise you will not have the required time to do that particular execution Resource requirement. Of course, the system requirements might include acceptance criteria for the resources which the system is permitted to use when performing self-learning or adaptation. This may include, for example, the amount of processing time, the memory allowed to be used to improve. Additionally, consideration needs to be given on whether this re resource usage should be linked to a measurable improvement in functionality or accuracy. This challenge affects the specification of acceptance criteria. So resource requirements are equally important because if you're not giving that bandwidth, you're not giving that uh, range uh, enough space to the system to grow, certainly that will crunch into the needs of resources. Or at the same time, we need to know what kind of systems are allowed, permitted to go ahead and use because if it occupies everything, then certainly the system will stop responding at some point of time, which is actually not good because these systems are self-learning and they keep adapting and you know improvising on its own thus it may go ahead and make use of different things so we need to restrict access how exactly the resource requirement should be utilized and you know what best should be available talking about the next set of item which is insufficient specification of operational environment which is certainly another common understanding that would be a challenge for a self-learning system now a self-learning system may change if the environmental inputs that it receives are outside the expected range or if they are not reflected in the training data. These inputs may be attacked in the form of data poisoning and it can be difficult to predict the full range of operational environment and environmental changes and to therefore identify the full set of representative test cases and environmental requirements. So it's very crucial and important to understand what are the expectations from the environment uh, of the operational uh, needs of AI-based system, which is self-learning. Because if we compromise any kind of thing, because one thing, of course, you may not have complete details available with you, but 
strive to achieve as much as possible uh, which if in case you lose that right so that could be kind of like a form of data poisoning which means that you're giving something wrong without any kind of specification the system continuously learn which is not the real expectation of the system so put together these are some of these challenges and uh, ideally the full scope of possible changes in the operational environment to which the system is expected to respond will be defined as acceptance criteria so i think at this point of time all i want to tell you is that acceptance criteria has a lot of answers for you when you come to 8.8 so make sure that you keep this aligned that hey all these challenges can be addressed by writing meaningful and effective uh, acceptance criteria which we'll be covering later well talking about the last set of items what we have is complex test environment now managing the test environment to ensure it can mimic all the potential high risk operational environment changes is a challenge and may involve the use of test tools like fault injection tools etc depending on the nature of the operating environment uh, this may be tested by manipulating inputs and the sensors or by obtaining access to different physical environments in which the system can be tested so put together the test environments certainly become one of the challenges which we are talking about because these are supposed to be as close as possible to the production but certainly cannot be exactly the production copy right because it's not necessary sometime you know everything about it or sometime you cannot afford it right because this could be expensive so in that context we try to be as close as possible or we just use the word mimic which means exactly almost similar to that and uh, try to you know populate those risk uh, areas in the environment related factors which could be contributing to the system that's the only goal when it comes to levels like system testing and acceptance testing where we try to address the uh, production level issues right before it goes to the production and finally the last one here is undesirable behavior modifications because self learning right you can learn anything what you want so a self learning system modifies its behavior based on its input and it may not be possible for testers to prevent this from occurring this may arise for example if a third party system is being used or if the production system is being tested by repeating the same test a self learning system may become more effective to at responding to those chain or those test which may then influence the long term behavior of the system it is therefore important to prevent a situation where the testing causes a self learning system to adversely change its behavior this is a change for test case design and this is a challenge for test case design and test management altogether so it's very very important that you use similar kind of test data and test cases so that the system always gets adapted to it that hey this is what the information will be used because in real time if the things are slightly being different then the system will start learning on its own and to make their own adverse decisions which is not a good sign for the success of the system so put together we covered a few challenges which we generally uh, have with related to ai based systems which are currently being identified but as we do know that these systems are uh, still under you know analysis and exploration so uh, there might be a lot of other things which the people would have identified but currently as per the syllabus we only have these items well That's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning